what? Maybe there's an army ghost. Maybe there's a what? A ghost. Welcome back to the channel, Hot Mama Travel. Today we are showing you the historic Holbrook Hotel in Grass Valley, California. It's just past Sacramento, and we came here because it is the oldest operating hotel in California, and I believe the west of the Mississippi. So that is pretty exciting. It's very historic, and it has recently went through a remodel, and we are one of the first guests to get to see it because it just opened two days ago. And I am telling you, we are so impressed. We are so excited. So if you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, give us a like, and let's get into the video. Hey guys. Hi. 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 This is so cute. We I are in love with this. This is a whole hotel. It is so beautiful. It's only been open <laughs> for two days, so everything is so fresh and new. It's a mix of old and new, right? Because it's the oldest hotel in California. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's been remodeled. Oh, it's just so, so pretty. I can't wait to show you guys. Look at our fireplace, guys.
just checked in into the Holbrook Hotel and it is so cute. We got a little welcome bottle of wine here. So excited. And you guys, so the parents, when you come with your kids, there's a safe and there's a fridge. So if you got milk like we do, you can put it. This little man. How do you like the hotel room? Do you like it? I got, I got some cool soap on me. Okay, Put soap in your hands for the bathroom. Yeah. It is such a cute bathroom, guys. And then I love the tub. They have a little I'm stepping cool stool, baby. and they have this cute tub. Okay, cool we'll play. We'll wash our hands in a minute. Okay, that's for the shower. Ooh, it's so cool. I love the red brick. I, I love the old timey like. It's such a cute everything. mix Did you of see the rustic modern. It's super cute. Yeah, the bathroom's the bathroom is amazing. Like and. I've yeah. never taken a, a bath or a shower in anything this cool. Stop though. him. Yeah. Is everybody excited? Yeah. Oh my God. I love the decor. It's really oh neat. Is everyone happy? This is, this is super exciting. This is yeah. such a pretty room. You said there's a dimmer? Yeah. <gasps> there it goes. Hold on. There's a dimmer. Yeah, there's a dimmer switch. Look at it, guys. Oh my god, that's, that's awesome! Do that in the house. And you got a little bottle of wine yeah, too. Wine tonight, so. How fun! to explore and see mm -hmm. if there is a happy ghost somewhere um, in the hallway. But this hotel is supposed to be really haunted. But we've stayed at a lot of haunted hotels. We've yet to see a ghost. So maybe we'll look out here. Okay, so it's our first night here at the Holbrook Hotel and we are going down to dinner. We're actually still pretty full from lunch, so it's gonna be more of like appetizers and drinks. Grandpa and Grandma are already, already down there because they wanted to sneak in some enjoying time at the bar without all the kids. Because let's be honest, family travel's fun, but family travel, especially with a two-year-old. And now we're gonna go crash their party. Grandpa, what are you guys doing? Sneaking, sneaking some actual adult time? <laughs> Why? We're too much for you? Oh.
We just had dinner, we're in our jammies, we're back in our room. I was just saying, I know this hotel is supposed to be really haunted, but I have personally not felt any haunted energy. I just haven't felt that. And I usually, sometimes we'll walk into a place and I'll feel it, but I don't feel it here. I don't know if it's a remodel or what, but I haven't felt it. But then, my mom just came in from her room and told me, Something moved the hair on my neck like this, like the back of my neck. And I thought it might have been the air conditioning thing, but I don't know. It gave me the willies, and I still think it was weird the way I felt it. The tingling and moving my hair. Now, she's never the one. I'm never. To ever. say that kind of stuff. She'll, no, she'll always. Now, I'm going to think about that all time. <laughs> now, she's scared. But I'll let you know if anything happens here. I think now we're just going to get cozy. I have, I have a Oh, and she just stubbed her toe on the bed. Ow! Because no, she... I stubbed my knee! Oh. <laughs> okay, I oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Ow! Okay, are you ready? Kaylee had a paranormal experience, she thinks. Oh. Kentos, right here, was playing with the lights while, and I was changing in the bathroom. And Kent didn't come with my lights and I was watching him so he couldn't have done this and the faucet turned on to the shower and then turned off. <gasps> but I heard the water dripping from it. Ooh, creepy. Kent, do you think there's ghosts here? And there's ghost ghosts here. There's a, there's a nice ghost. But it's a nice ghost. Yeah, Kent says there's happy ghosts, so I trust the baby. I wanted to explain because I didn't get to when I was showing you guys the room tour. Um, the rooms that we got for our group was the two uh, king rooms. So we have a king room here and a king room there. Now normally we'd go for the two queens um, but they were located in the parcel house which is right across the parking lot which is beautiful too and I'm sure you guys have saw the footage in our um, montage um, but we really wanted to be inside the Holbrook Hotel so we opted for the two kings. So it's going to be four of us in one bed and three in the other and that's fine. We're a close family. Yeah. You no big deal. We've slept in way smaller spaces. Oh, yeah. We're one that cleaned We've slept in two doubles. You and me, Kent. Yeah. So all slept together? Yeah. On our epic cross country road trip, there were times where we all slept in two doubles. And I mean, two doubles with. Well, Kent wasn't there. Kent wasn't in here. Kent was in my tummy at that time. Yeah. So. But, um, but I just want to explain why we have the king beds. That's what we did. This is like, this inn has 29 rooms, so it's more of a boutique hotel. And there's some rooms with two fulls, some rooms with two queens, and then most of the rooms are the, the king suites. And there's, there is, I mean, the king rooms, but there is some king suites too that are really cool. What, you wanna say something? I don't feel like ghost vibes, but it's like, I feel like it's old, but I don't really think there's ghosts. Steve and I, or Kevin and I are not getting ghost vibes. I know it's haunted, and maybe we'll be proven wrong on this trip but we've been to so many haunted places right yeah i feel like this guy is very sensitive to spirit energy I swear, every time i go to a haunted place if it actually like has ghosts i usually feel colder but right now i'm just like hot um, he usually picks up on stuff pretty quickly but he doesn't feel anything but i think like i said it's been remodeled it's very beautiful it feels very new and modern um so even though it's the oldest hotel sorry so even though it's the oldest hotel in california it still bears very feels very very new i wanted to let all the family travelers know that the holbrook hotel is family friendly and that they are very welcoming to the children they do have a kids menu in the restaurant but it is limited right now and i do believe it has a combination to do with that they just opened like two days ago and there's obviously a big yeah. global and pandemic that is affecting a lot of restaurants. So they're also only open right now to the hotel guests, which is nice for us because we could walk right in and get a nice, perfect, beautiful they table. They do have internet, but it doesn't work in our rooms because it's too far away. Yeah, we, they do have uh, free Wi-Fi. It works great down in the lobby and in the restaurant. Amazing, better than ours. But up in the rooms, we're not getting it yet. So I don't know if that's a problem that will be worked out later. And there is free fridges in the rooms so that's good for moms traveling with kids with um if you need milk to stay cold or anything but um there is no right now maybe later they will but right now there is no milk at the restaurant so uh you do have to go across just a little walk um 
to the Safeway and if you need to buy milk, you have to buy it there because they don't have it at the restaurant. But it is a cute walk. Oh, according also, to the according to the husband, it's a fine walk. But you might want to do that before you before it gets dark or before you're um, um in for the night. Also, if you have like a kid like me and Kent, and they don't really eat that much, get when uh, they don't have it right now, but they have Dino Nuggets. They do have Dino Nuggets sometimes. And no one can go wrong with yeah. that. Hello everybody, today we are having our breakfast at the Holbrook Hotel. We are kind of late because they actually stopped serving at 10. We just made it like 20 minutes before 11. So they're really nice <laughs> and are letting us still get breakfast. Um, and then we're gonna go explore today. What are we doing? We're going to the um, historic mining park. Is that what it's called? Uh, I forgot the name. Yeah, well, we'll put the name of it yeah. in here. It's the historic mining part where there's a bunch of historical buildings and the old mine shaft and everything. But I don't think we can go into the mine shaft because of the pandemic, but we can go walk the grounds. And then we're going to go over to Nevada City, check that out, and maybe pick up that documentary about the ghosts here at the Holbrook. Yeah, we got to find the Chamber of Commerce in Nevada City, and we'll get the DVD. Yeah. Phantoms of Holbrook. Kind of go around, maybe have lunch somewhere, or dinner, or whatever we're going to have over there, and then come back over here for our nightcap and drink. Because the kids are eager to take a bubble bath in that amazing clawfoot bathtub today. What did you get? French sticks, French, French toast sticks with whipped cream, and it's amazing. Mmm. Keely waiting for her avocado toast, right? Mm -hmm. I gave Keely a bite of mine. That was very sweet. having some pre-dinner drinks at the Golden Gate Saloon here at the Holbrook Hotel. This bar back behind me, the wood, is original to the hotel. It was actually from the 1850s and it was shipped in from Italy around the Horn of Africa and then carried um, carriage across the East Coast to California here in Grass Valley. The stained glass is actually recent during the remodel. Some local artisans recreated the stained glass and then the marble columns were put in to match the bar top. The copper behind me is actually also original to the hotel. So some fun ghost stories. We, like I said, I haven't had any haunted experiences here or felt any haunted vibes, but grandma did. And so weird is one of the other bartenders had the same thing happen to um, her, is have her hair flipped. And the other bartender actually saw the hair lift. So apparently there's a little hair flipper ghost around here. So it did happen to grandma. And then the other thing I like about this ghost, I don't know which ghost here, but the one at the bar apparently likes tequila. So mm -hmm. I think we're homies because they were debating one night after work, the two bartenders, whether they should have a shot of whiskey or a shot of tequila to end the day. And the uh, bottle of tequila opened, the lid popped off, and I guess the ghost made the decision for them. So <laughs> sounds like a good time to me. Look at the pearl. Oh my gosh, there's a little pearl on the top class here. I got one. Oh. Green chartreuse in it. Ooh. Green chartreuse is good. Bitter. And um, some other ingredients. That's the bijou. Gin, vermouth, chartreuse, and orange bitters. You gotta have the vermouth to to, belt, to clean it up. Mm -hmm. I did that. Fancy.
Thank you guys so much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed our stay at the Holbrook Hotel. If you did, give us a big like and make sure you're subscribed to the channel, become a member of the Hot Fam. We'll see you next time, bye. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and never miss another minute of the fun. And of course, we offer detailed destination guides and travel tips over at our blog, hotmamatravel.com to make your next family adventure hot.